My name is Jeffrey King. I am a First Amendment lawyer and journalist. I use GPG frequently, um, both to communicate with colleagues and peers, um, to communicate with others in the community. Um, I use it both to encrypt local files to uh, and decrypt, obviously. Uh, encrypt and decrypt local files, uh, emails. I use it frequently and um, uh, works pretty seamlessly. GPG is as robust and secure as these things come. Um, there are a number of uh, third-party applications that make it very easy to use the core, uh, you know, really powerful crypto that is GPG. Um, and I just think this is extremely important for anybody who's communicating about anything sensitive, whether it's financial data, medical data, uh, journalist source conversations, certainly attorney-client conversations, um, to be using the strongest uh, possible encryption that they can, uh, and GPG makes that possible for ordinary people like me. And it does not mean that there's uh, anything nefarious to protect. Uh, you know, it's fallacy. The idea that if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. I mean, there are plenty of legitimate reasons to protect one's privacy and to be able to be assured, as GPG does assure me and many people like me, that uh, the power to keep things private is actually in our hands. The kinds of advanced persistent threats that uh, folks face are not necessarily even targeting them directly, but uh, perhaps targeting people one or two or three hops down the line. And so uh, it's very important for, I think, everybody to protect their privacy as much as possible. So it's not just about me, but it's about people I love, people I care about, people I may not have ever met. I think that for the folks who um, are aware of why encryption is so important, uh, GPG is deeply appreciated. Um, both the fact that it exists and it's available and when people use it. I certainly have a subset of contacts who will only uh, communicate over GPG, um, or at least they'll default to that. And I think that it's increasingly being recognized uh, as a mainstream, sensible, reasonable, or rational response to a, a threat environment in which you really don't know who your adversaries are. Rather, when the Bill of Rights was being uh, debated and sort of crafted um, by the framers of the U.S. Constitution, uh, a lot of that work was done through a series of encrypted letters. Or around the same time, Abigail Adams was trying to get John Adams to use a cipher suite that he was bemoaning was too hard. Uh, and. Uh, want to be able to discuss both important affairs of uh, state and, and politics, um, but almost certainly also the intimate familial uh, goings on when somebody is stationed uh, you know, on another continent. And so I think it just goes to show that uh, encryption, like the First Amendment itself, is uh, vital for protecting essentially the ability of people to speak out on matters of public concern, the ability of people to speak out privately and to deliberate and to form their own thoughts and um, become autonomous, um, engaged citizens, to have that breathing room. But I think that, and there are other examples, it very much goes to show that um, crypto is for everyone. It's as American as apple pie. And it is important for securing rights, and uh, uh, encryption is important for securing rights, securing liberty, uh, for uh, protecting people's uh, privacy with their friends and family, 
Uh, it has many, many uses, and that's why GPG is so very important. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, Cardinal Richelieu said, uh, give me six lines by the most honest of men, and I will find something in which to hang him. And without being quite that dire, uh, the age in which we live now uh, generates so much data that I believe it's impossible to know the full consequences of that data being used or potentially used against someone. Um, you can look at, for example, the, uh, the Office of Personnel Management hack. Right? Um, these are, a lot of these folks are people who are, who are just trying to honorably serve their country, whether they are uh, federal public defenders or FBI agents or um, you know, members of Congress or staffers. Uh, there were many, many, many innocent people caught up in that. And for every single one of those folks, um, it's potential blackmail material, particularly the folks with top secret clearances. It doesn't even have to be derogatory information. Um, if you have enough information about someone or about a community of people, you can come up with great mischief. And the reality of the world today is that the threat model really includes any actor, state or non-state, that has the capability to intercept or uh, hack someone. The personal is now very much political. Certainly, GPG allows you to protect yourself from any actor, corporate, governmental, uh, criminal, um, and that's the beauty of it.